So let's take a second and let's talk about chuck tubes. Because this is another question I get an absolute ton on DMs and if we post a video. Uh, that's because we shoot a lot of 20 gauges. As a matter of fact, most everybody in my group that you see in photos or whatever, my friends are called, that I hunt with, they, uh, they mostly shoot 20s. I got one guy that shoots a 12 sometimes, shoots a 20 sometimes. I got another guy that's a 12 gauge all the way. Most of that is gun fit over 12 gauge versus uh, not one of us worries that a 12 gauge is, or a 20 is not big enough to kill. They kill just fine. So how do you know if you need an aftermarket choke tube? Well, the easiest way to, to answer that is if the factory tube isn't performing how you want. So then you'd step up to an aftermarket tube. So for instance, this is an SV3 that I shot last year. I shoot the factory modified tube that's the extended version. This tube throws an absolutely wicked pattern with steel shot. It does exactly what I need. Very uniform, it's very constricted, it shoots probably full to extra full out of this gun with steel shot. In my M2 that's sitting behind me, a little 20 gauge M2, it loves a Carlson's Cremator. Uh, that gun, I've shot Pattern Master, I've shot Jebs, um, Factory, but out of all those, in that gun, uh, it prefers the Carlson's Cremator in mid-range. It throws a full to extra full, really similar to the pattern out of this SB3's factory tube. So that's kind of how you know if you need or you want to step up and choke tube performance. What I do usually go over, especially with guys in the calling class, because a lot of those guys are newer hunters, do not look, in my opinion, I don't look for a, a aftermarket tube to shoot ducks further away or geese farther away because you start hitting the limit of a steel shot anyway on distance. So what I look at choke tubes for is less triples on finished birds. So if the factory tube is not making the pattern dense enough or uniform enough, I can go to an aftermarket tube and I can get a better pattern density or I can get a more uniform pattern. So I'll have less triples when I'm shooting birds that are inside of my decoys and finish. So that I think is where you can really take advantage of choke tubes not necessarily for shooting birds further. If you're trying to shoot birds further, I'd recommend working on getting them into the decoys more because that will do more for you than a choke. 